Paper 2 question number 16. So, two satellites were revolving around the sun of mass capital M. Uh, the various quantities that were available to us that we can calculate are orbital velocity which would be under root gm by r. This we can calculate using the equation gm1 m2 by r square equals to mv square by r. Then angular momentum standard would be mvr rearrange and we get m into root gmr. Kinetic energy will be half mv square replace v this is what we get. Time period would be 2 pi r by v arrange this is what we get. Actually they had given us the ratio of m1 m2 and r1 r2. Putting these results here and finding out the respective ratios of velocity and angular momentum kinetic energy time period we would achieve the result B. The answer therefore was B. Question 17 paper 2 this was probably the easiest question of the lot. So standard PV graphs were given processes 1, 2, 3 and 4 we could have easily found out that 1 corresponds to adiabatic, 2 corresponds to isobaric, 3 corresponds to isochoric and 4 corresponds to isothermal. Straight away since we are talking of process 1 and it is an adiabatic process there must be no heat exchange. Process 2 as we can see is an isobaric process. Work done can be calculated using the relation P delta V. So P here was 3 P naught and the change in volume was 2 V naught. So we get a network of 6 P naught V naught. The third process was isochoric. So there is no change in volume work done by the gas must be 0. The fourth process was isothermal and obviously no temperature must have changed. So the answer is C. Question 18 paper 2. So we had two col columns. We had to match them up. These were the possible uh, position vectors for the particle and here we had five physical quantities momentum, angular momentum about origin, kinetic energy, potential energy and total mechanical energy. Now, they already said that the force is either 0 or conservative in the entire this thing. If the force is conservative or 0, 5 interestingly had to be the answer for all of them which you can observe in all the paths. Similarly, to check whether momentum is conserved, we could find out by differentiating each of these quantities velocity. If velocity vector turns out to be constant, momentum must be conserved. To check angular momentum about origin, we could go with r cross mv. So, r vectors are mentioned, differentiate, get velocity, find out r cross v. If it turns out to be a constant, which means angular momentum is conserved. We did talk about total energy. Similarly, that it is constant for all the cases like kinetic energy is half mv square. Differentiate each of them, find out the speeds. Now, if the speeds are constant, kinetic energy will be constant. If kinetic energy and total energy are both constant, potential energy must be constant. If kinetic energy is variable, since total energy is constant, potential energy will also be variable. Using these ideas, we can verify the given set of answers which was A.